Hello everyone, welcome back to this tutorial and as a part of this tutorial we will be focusing on solution of one of the another interview question of strings that is merge strings alternately and for this question the problem statement we have you are given two strings word 1 and word 2 so we will have to input for this problem statement uh, word 1 and word 2 both will be a string type and the second point we have merge the strings by adding letters in alternating order starting with word 1 so we will be merging the letter of both of the strings by starting with word 1 doesn't matter whether a word 1 or input 1 is containing uh, the length of string uh, greater or smaller compared to the word 2 but we will start with word 1 only third statement we have if a string is longer than the another string, then appending the additional letters into the end of the merge strings. So this is a use case where the both of the input is holding the different length uh, of the content. In this case, the, the string which, which is not merged into the, uh, uh, the output string. So the remaining string will be uh, merging as, as it is with the merge string, which is already given in uh, the input to we'll be discussing that once the problem statement is finished so uh, the last point we have uh, once the string is merged we have to return back the merge string to the caller method so let's understand this problem statement with the help of these examples and the output so first example we have where the content length of both of the string is equal and we are merging this a with b which is uh, like first character of both of the string and the second character of both of the string and third character of the both of the string like that's the reason it is getting a and p in output and then b and q okay and then c and r okay uh, this is the use case where both of the string content is equal uh, the second example is where the uh, both input is having different uh, content length or the length of the string is not equal. In this case word 1 is having a smaller length compared to the word 2. In this case we will be merging a and b with uh, the p and q and then the r and s is yet to merge because there is nothing in word 1 to merge with. So that's the reason. As given in this uh, problem statement, if a string is longer than another string, then appending additional letters into the end of the merge string. So we will be merging the remaining letter as it is with the merge string as given in the problem statement. The same rule applies to uh, this input as well in third example where the word one is uh, having length or content greater than compared to the word two. So in this case, A and B merged with P and Q and the C and D uh, these two characters is yet to merge because there is nothing in word 2 to merge with so that's the reason we are adding uh, these uh, C and D as it is in the merge string and the output we have A, P, B, Q and then C and D as it is alright hope you uh, got some idea about this problem statement now this is just a problem statement now we have to implement or we have to write a solution in java to uh, to uh, solve this problem so that our uh, problem our uh, program will be able to get the output uh, as it is which we discuss in this example so let's get started with the backend code so for that we have already created a class with one method called merge alternately which takes two input parameter of string type and inside this method we'll be writing a solution for this problem statement so let's get started we'll take a help of index based for loop which initially start from index value 0 and then we'll be keep checking if the index value is always less than the word one dot length or it should be less than uh, word two dot length If it is true, in this case, we'll be executing the logic which is inside this index based for loop. So, here as we already discussed, that we will be starting from 
the word one which is given in problem statement so we will check this index value if it is lesser than the word one dot length then take a first character and first character of word one word one dot there is a caret method of which takes a index as an input parameter which is type int and it returns the particular uh, character on that index value so that we will be storing inside the string builder string builder is b is equal to new string builder and string builder dot append so this is a first use case and the second use case is i should always less than word two dot length if it is true then do the same thing here as well but not with word one with word two so we'll we'll take a first character of uh, the word one and then we'll append that with word two that is what is expected and then in next iteration it will take a first character of uh, sorry second character of the uh, word one and the second character of word two if the word two is there is nothing left in word two but there is something left in uh, word one to merge then this block not execute it will be keep appending one by one into the merge string all right uh, at the end once we done with the iteration we will be returning this string builder back to the main method so it is string builder dot to string that is what is expected from this program now let's write main method to test our piece of code as out result result is Uh, here we'll be calling merge alternately and then we'll be passing let me give variable name here where uh, input one and then input two instead of changing these names in the method parameter we'll be passing these values here only these are the input we'll compare this input with our output okay let me format this a bit to get some better uh, readability so here in this case we'll be passing input one is abc as we are testing our first uh, example input this. so here instead of passing the raw value we'll be passing this input 1 and input 2 comma input 2 and then what okay cannot method string and string okay I think it should be concatenation here all right now let's run this <coughs> Uh, let's compare this result with the result or output which is there in the output a b a p b q c r this is correct one let's try with the second input uh, second input we have go like this Let's run this again. Let's compare this with the result. So it it gives A, P, B, G, sorry Q, R and S because R and S added as it is with the merge string. So third one is A, B, C, D. 
sorry let me keep this down a bit a b c d and then p q so in this case it will be a p b q and c d let's check that a p b q and c d a p b q and c d so c d is added as it is uh, a p b q c d so our this uh, program output is matching with the output which is given an example so that's it from this video guys thank you so much for watching this video stay tuned for other videos